join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. We're in County Donegal and in Donegal Town and this is Donegal Castle you see in front of you. It's situated on the River Esk, close to where it opens into Donegal Bay and this was a stronghold for the O'Donnell clan. They were one of Ireland's most powerful Gaelic families between the 5th and the 16th centuries. The castle was built by Red Hugh O'Donnell in 1474 and it was referred to by the English in 1566 as one of the finest Gaelic castles in Ireland. This boundary wall was a later addition to the castle, although it dates from the 17th century. Alas, the leaders of the O'Donnell clan left Ireland in 1607 in what's known as the Flight of the Earls. This meant that the castle fell into English hands in 1611 during the plantation of Ulster and the new owner, a Captain Basil Brooke, repaired previous damage that the departing O'Donnells had inflicted on the building to prevent it being used against the Gaelic clans. He also added the large manor house wing that we see on our right, which was built in Jacobean style. The castle was partially restored in the 1990s, although it had lay in ruins for 200 years before. So it's great that some restoration has taken place, though obviously not this bit. It's thought that the castle stands on the site of an earlier Viking settlement destroyed in 1159, since Dunnagall, the Irish for Donegal, translated as Fort of the Foreigner. If this has been of interest, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Naked Ireland video.